Well, this kind of sucks. What is going on everybody? Well, it is definitely raining season. So let's take a look at some rain jackets. When it gets really crappy like this, you're gonna need a lightweight rain jacket that's gonna be small, packable, waterproof, as well as a breathable. Two budget-friendly-ish options for you are gonna be the Perlazumi Select WXB Barrier Jacket, as well as the Gore Element GTAS. Let's get out of this crap and go inside and take a closer look. The Barrier WXB from Perlazumi Select line is a breathable, waterproof jacket with an athletic, semi-form-fitting cut providing a good range of motion that retails for $135. There's also a very large waterproof zippered rear pocket on the long cycling specific tail with some reflective accents. It features nice long sleeves with ample room for wide shoulders. The barrier jacket is made of a soft and somewhat quiet fabric with a reflective logo and sleeve accents and a fully waterproofed full length zipper. I really like the ergonomics of the wrist cuff as it was really easy to take a peek at your watch with elastic just on the lower half of the cuff. The cuff is also slightly longer on top of the hand to provide even more rain protection, which is a really nice detail. Being from the WXB line, this jacket is going to offer some serious rain protection and beads off water as expected. It's not quite as breathable as I hope, but it keeps me completely dry from the rain. The Gore Element GTAS jacket is similar to the Barrier WXB, but has a more forgiving fit and retails for $200. The outer material is a little bit louder than the Pearl, but feels equally as soft. It also has nice long sleeves, but it's a little bit tighter in the shoulders than the Pearl Azumi. The fit is a little odd as the shoulders seem a little bit narrow, but is very baggy around the abdomen. Unlike the barrier, the Gore zipper is not fully waterproof, unfortunately. The Napoleon pocket is a nice, convenient touch, and the additional reflective accents on the shoulders provide a little bit more safety for a dark jacket. It also has a Velcro attachment point for a separate hood that's not included. I thought the Velcro closure on the wrist cuffs wasn't really necessary and just seemed a little bit annoying. It can actually scratch the top of your hand in certain positions. Additionally, the Element Jacket does have an elasticized drawstring at the waist where the Pearl Zumi does not. As the Gore name suggests, it offers superior waterproof protection with breathability. Unfortunately, just like the Barrier Jacket, I didn't find the material to be as breathable as I hoped. So after trying both of these jackets, I chose the Pearl Zumi. Both jackets are going to be very waterproof as well as somewhat breathable, but the Pearl Zumi wins because of the fully waterproof zipper, better ergonomics on the wrist cuff, a little more form-fitting cut, as well as being significantly cheaper. So stay dry out there. Please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more reviews coming soon.